walk around family welcome back to another video today we have a 2025 honda civic hatchback sport in the new solar silver metallic paint it's a sunny day today so hopefully i can see you guys like i can't really see but today we're gonna do a quick walk around on the sport and for 25 honda has made some changes so for an example the front bumper new design no more of that fake little fog light looking thing in there anymore the new design bumper with a more wider mouth look like get better cooling in there as well updated grille and pretty much this portion right here it's flat black on the sedan i don't know i think on the sport touring is body colored or just the sedan is body colored but they did kind of change this piece up on the 25s now you do have your honda emblem up front chrome you can black that out if you wanted to full led headlamp so right now i have the led turn signals on you have led daytime running lights up above led low beams on the outer portion of the lights and then led fog light that's right in the middle not fog light um high beam sorry <laughs> there isn't no fog lights on the civics at all even the sport touring no longer get fog lights um what i've heard is that these led headlights is so bright at night you don't really need fog lights to each is own versus 24 you do get the same wheel design so these are gloss black 18 rims these are all season tires goodyear eagle sports and you're looking at 235 40 18 tires now this civic does have a protection package on there and this is something you can add to your civic which is wheel locks splash guards and a cargo trunk in the tray when we get back there now the overall silhouette of the civic is still the same i think it's like 107 107.7 inch wheelbase and that's the same for sedan and hatchback from 24 design cubes is pretty much the same gloss black mirror caps on the sports you can see around the window it's a uh, flat black no chrome at all body color door handles you get the wider windshield and the windshield has been pulled back a little bit more versus the 10th gen civic and you get the updated windshield wipers where the nozzle sprayer is on the wiper itself it's not on the hood or underneath the hood i'm gonna pop the hood real fast and actually show you guys the motor because for 2025 honda has pretty much give you a different uh two liter four cylinder it's not the same that's in the 24. now this one makes less horsepower but it is more efficient what we're looking at is the updated two liter four cylinder motor one thing i like about civics is it's just simple under here there's no cover just covering everything up everything is visible your oil cap your dipstick right there front row your wipers you know, coolant, batteries, fuse, air box, everything is there, super simple. Now, if you get a hybrid, you also get a two liter, but you do have a two motor system in that vehicle. So you do get more horsepower and more torque in the hybrid. And you also get better gas mileage now. And this two liter non-hybrid, in this model, which is the Sport, you only get the non-hybrid two liter. And for 25, there's no more LX. So this is the lowest model you can get on a Civic hatchback. On the sedan, you can get an LX, but on the hatchback, no more LX. The Sport Hybrid pretty much replaced the EXL, and the Sport Hybrid will look just like this, just have all of the pretty much EX features, because you don't get leather seats from the EXL. The Sport Touring now is the only model to get leather seats. You do have a capitalist fuel filler, so you just push the tank, pop it open for you. When you lock the Civic, it will lock this door, and it's capitalist too. Technically, you have this guy right here that covers it. Once you close the door up and come along to the rear, this is the difference from the sedan to the hatchback. And this may be the reason why you go with a hatchback over the sedan. Some people like the sedan looks better. Some like the hatchback better. Personal preference, to be honest. Up above, you do have a shark fin style antenna that is body colored. You do have your nozzle for your sprayer for the rear wiper. And unlike the Integra, you actually get a rear wiper. The Integra don't get a wiper, which... Don't make sense to me but the tail lights now are a combination which is known to honda but they haven't changed it up a little bit like hrv get full led but the civic get a partial led and partial uh incandescent so your brake lights are led which you turn signal signals and reverse lights are incandescent and you do have your third brake like here it looks like this whole thing connects but it doesn't it's like a little break in right here but down below you do have an led license plate light as well Honda emblem in chrome, Civic is in chrome, and Sport is in chrome. You can also black those three out through your dealership. You have your reflectors on the rear bumper. And you do kind of have this diffuser look style in the rear of the hatchback. 
and it is flat black. There's no exposed exhaust on the hatchbacks. Still, they reserve that for the sport sedan only. Here's the key for the Civic Sport hatchback. And if you're familiar with the latest Honda, you're familiar with this key. They've updated from the previous Civic. I believe the Ridgeline and the Passport still have the older key. So you have lock, you have unlock, you have remote start built in on the key fob. So you lock the Civic and you hold the circle. It'll flash at you one time and you can let go and then it'll flash at you three times to let you know it's running. It will stay on for 10 minutes. You can lock it and hold and add an additional 10 minutes on top of that. And your interior temperature will go to 72 degrees. That way it's not too hot and not too cold. And in colder weather, I think below 30, maybe like 32, 30, somewhere around there, it will actually uh, defrost your windows, which is cool. And when you do use the remote start, the Civic is on to warm up the car, of course. It's not ready to drive. You still gotta get in, put your foot on the brakes, put your foot on the button to fully turn it on. So no one can't just unlock your door or break the glass and drive off. You still need the key to drive. If you wanna turn off that feature, you just hold the circle, shuts that guy off. And because you have the smart key, you have smart entry as well. And the LX and the 24 had the same key. It just didn't have a smart entry, but you do have that in the sport. Now. And with smart entry on the door handle, you have these little lines right here, you tap it. It will lock all the doors. You have one on the driver and one on the passenger door, and none on the rear door handles. If you put your hand in there, it unlocks for you. And on, by default, it'll only unlock the driver door. If you put your hand in the passenger doors first, it will unlock the passenger's door. It will unlock all the doors. I don't know what am I talk, <laughs> talking about today, but let's take a look at the door card before we get into the interior. I just realized I had you guys in ultra wide, so this should look a little bit more better, less fish eye look. Now on the Sport, your only interior color is black interior. If you want a gray interior, you can go up to a Sport Touring or I believe a Sport Hybrid also comes with a, a gray interior. But on the Sport, let's take a look at the door card here. You do have hard touch up top, flat black here. You have soft touch here, which is cloth and your armrest is cloth as well. You do have power windows up and down for the driver and passenger. For the rear, you just hold it, power locks power mirrors, kind of this like aluminum look door handle, which I was like that Honda kind of does. This is actually really nice. We have some storage down below there, storage there, storage, I about to say storage and speaker. You have a speaker down below on the door and take a look at the interior. Now you do have a combination seats, which is unique to the sport where you have cloth on the interior on the inside and leather on the outside. It is a manual adjustment on the seats. So you pump this to go up and down, you pretty much pull this guy to raise this forward and back, and you have the bar inside to move forward and back. On the passenger side, all you have is forward and back, and you can move the back piece forward and back. That's pretty much it. So technically, on the hatchback, there's no more full cloth interior because this one is the combination, and the Sport is a combination, and the Sport Touring is leather only. Now let's jump in here. It's October and it's still pretty warm. I'm actually, I'm pr I should shop actually. Foot on the brake, push the button. Let's close this guy up, get the AC going. Now the interior of the Civic is a nice place to be. Now the sun is out, you know, blazing right now. So I don't have the best lighting right now, but I'm gonna try my best to show off this interior for you guys. So starting off with the steering wheel, it is leather wrapped. It's not too thick, it's not too thin. It's actually the perfect size. Um, it is a smaller steering wheel. To some most cars, I think most cars in the class have a similar size steering wheel. You do have piano black around. The kind of like accents of the buttons, the controls, the airbag. Airbag is not leather, it's like a hard plastic. You do have power shifters, plus and minus behind the steering wheel. So you can shift with some virtual gear. Because remember, this is a CVT. It's not an automatic transmission, so you don't actually have gears, but it'll give you, I think it's, uh, I forgot how many gears it'll give you. Easy controls on the steering wheel. The left side is gonna be next track, previous, volume. You have a source button there where you can quickly cycle between AM, FM, Bluetooth, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. Your driver cluster here is a half digital and half analog. The digital side is seven inches and the right side is a traditional speedometer and you control most of that with the scroll wheel here and the home button here. And you do have a voice command 
button here as well on the right side you're gonna have some of your cruise control features on the right side you're gonna have some cruise control features and some honda sensing features so you have cruise on and off you have cancel you have resume you have set you do have your adaptive cruise control adjust the distance from the cars in front of you you do have lane keeping assist on this side and you have a little bit more in the menu there so if you do hit the home button here you can show different uh, menu I'm trying to zoom in there and show you guys. If you're familiar with the 24, 23, 22 sports, you're going to be familiar with this menu as well. So you can have no content that shows nothing. You have vehicle settings. And in here is where you change like door lock settings, auto lock settings, things of that nature. You also have, I'm going to door setup. You also have walkway auto lock. And by default, this is set to off. So if you want that on, go in the menu, switch that guy up. You have customized display. So here you can decide what apps you want to view in your list here. And you have warning, so that will show you if the low tire pressure, the trunk is open, the door is open, something's going on with the car, and you have your seatbelt on. Range and fuel is going to show you your range on your tank and what you're averaging. Don't mind the average on this guy, because that's based on the parking lot here at the dealership. Speed and time for your um, engine. And this is also where you go to trip A and trip B, where you can reset it as well. You have your driver attention uh, gauge here, Will if you fill up those four Printed bars, the Civic will recommend you should pull over and take a break or take a rest. You're not fully awake to drive, you're falling asleep. Um, you have your seatbelt monitoring here to see who have their seatbelts on. Maintenance is going to show you oil life, 50% time for an oil change. Safety support is where you can turn on and off some of your safety features. Sport now get blind spot monitoring, so you can turn that on and off, which is the second option. The first one is road departure mitigation, so that's where if you fall asleep, you're drifting off. The Civic actually would shake the wheel to try to keep you in your lane and wake you up because you fall asleep. And you have your collision mitigation uh, braking system, which is automatic braking where someone is in front of you, there's an obstacle, and you're not paying attention, you're going to rear end that person. The Civic will warn you to brake first. If it says you can't brake in time, then it will actually apply the brakes for you. So this is where you can turn those features on and off. And then back to no content. I'm going to leave it on range and fuel because that's the most popular. On the left side of the steering wheel, you do have an air vent here, which is that new design that came out when this generation came out. And it kind of go across the whole dash, which is cool, but the whole thing is not a vent. You can turn this one on and off. You have your dimmer interior lighting switch and traction control on and off. And then down below, you do have your lever to pop the hood. And the Sport gives you Sport pedals, so you have gas and brake down below as well dead pedal is just plastic behind the steering wheel on the left side you do have your lighting switches here so you have off auto you have parking and just on and you have auto high beams standard on the sport the right side will be your wipers so you have off intermediate low and high and off intermediate on for the rear wiper in the rear you see that guy waggling along now you do have your touchscreen display over here which is a seven inch touchscreen display it has physical buttons as well. You have your volume knob, you have a tuning knob. There's no apps or like different pages or anything like that. You have the Sport Touring that gives the nine inch that will actually give you the, the option to customize and kind of view like your phone. This is pretty much standard, traditional. If you want something simple, easy to use, this is the way to go. You do have a physical, next track, previous, phone, radio, so AM, FM, Bluetooth, media's Bluetooth and a USB Connect will be Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. Apple CarPlay or Android Auto is wired in the Sport, wired in the Sport Hybrid, but it's wireless on the Sport Touring. So keep that in mind. I'm sure the Sport will get wireless eventually. You know how these things work. The Touring get a bunch of features, and then a few years later, it gets trickled down to the lower models. Down below is that air vent we were just talking about. So here, you can see you can change the direction of your, your air vents. And you have another one here, hazard in the middle. These are blank. And then there's another one you can open and close and adjust the direction as well. And below that, you have your climate controls here. So you have automatic um, temperature here. So you can put exactly what temperature you want it. It's a single zone. The Sport Hybrid will give you the dual zone. And the Sport Hybrid will give you heated seats. You do not have heated seats on the Sport. Now, you do have auto climate control, air circulation front defrost, fan speed, on and off of the whole system, uh, heated back uh, glass, and your side mirrors are also heated as well. AC on and off, and change the mode from face to feet, feet only, 
kind of however you want it. Now, down below that, you do have uh, two USB-C ports, which is new for 25. USB only, USB-A is gone, so get rid of that USB-A cord. You still have a power outlet, so I guess you can still use your USB-A with adapter, but why do that when you have USB-Cs? Down below that, you have storage, leather wrap, shift knob, park, reverse, neutral, and drive. I'm gonna put it in reverse so you guys can see the backup camera. You do have Honda multi-link backup camera where it's a wide angle. You have normal and looking top down. Now the frame rate of my camera versus the screen is not matching up. So you see the little, it's, that's not how it looks in person. You do have a cross traffic uh, feature as well too. Now that's new because you have blind spot monitoring. It works on the same system. So if you are backing up and there's a car coming from this way or this way, the cross traffic will alert you, let you know there's a car coming from either way. Put this guy back into park. There's no uh, S mode because you actually get a drive modes in sport, which is nice, where you have sport, normal, and econ. And I'll show you right there. Sport, normal, and econ. Econ is going to give you the best gas mileage. Normal is a good blend between some power and good gas mileage. Sport is who cares about gas mileage. I want this full power. So in sport mode, you hear more engine noise. Um, the throttle response is a lot more sensitive. It kind of gives you a more feeling of a, having a spirited drive, which is cool. You do have the engine idle stop feature, so this is how you turn it off, electronic parking brake. You do have brake hold as well, since you do have electronic parking brake. So while you're in drive, you can turn this guy on and it'll hold your brake. So you can take your foot off the brake, car won't move, and you're going to be in drive. If you give it gas, it'll let you move up, and then every time you brake, it'll keep holding you until you turn that feature back off. comes in handy with drive-throughs or stop-and-go traffic or... Just you drop your pen on the floor, you won't go to the park, or you know, anything like that, ATM, things like that. I love that they didn't use piano black for this material out here. They did use it here, which that's okay, pretty minimal up there. It's going to show fingerprints and dirt and dust and stuff, but at least down here, where you mostly going to be having your hand, it doesn't have that. So, nice touch from Honda, two cup holders here. And you have an armrest here that is also a cloth with the single stitching. Speaking of the stitching, I even mentioned that the seats have like white stitching in them. And open this guy up, you do have a little coin tray and just storage. There's nothing in here, no plugins or nothing, just a little mat. And that's pretty much it. And this tray can either go right here or go right there. You can customize it to how you want it. Now your glove box is not lockable. It is damp though, so it opens slowly. And it's not lined with felt, but it's a bench style, decent size, not gonna be the biggest in the world. And you do have your rear view mirror here that is a standard, no auto dimming, uh, no home link either. It's not even available on the Civic. And up above that, you do have your map lights here, interior lighting. Now there's no moon roof. I said moon. <laughs> there's no moon roof on the Sport. You have to get a Sport Hybrid or a Sport Touring to get the moon roof. But if you don't want a moon roof, then you're gonna enjoy the sport, black headliner as well. Let's take a look at the visor. You have a visor with no light. The sport hybrid will give you a light. So same thing on the passenger's vanity mirror as well. Now we're gonna jump out of here, take a look at the back seat, see what your rear passengers are gonna feel or is gonna feel like to be back there. But before we actually get into the back seat, let me show you guys the window sticker. 2025 Honda Civic. Hatchback Sport, Solar Silver Metallic. So you're looking at 30 City and 38 Highway. If you want higher MPGs, close to 50, that's where you get the hybrid. Now this guy is 27,450. There's no charge for the Solar Silver paint. Destination handling is 10.95. You're looking at 28,545, so just under 30 for a Sport Hatchback. If you get a sedan, you're gonna save some money as well too. Now because this one has a protection package. It's like 457. This one comes out to 29, so still right under uh, 30. 2902. Now, this is how wide the rear door open, just in case you're curious. And because you have the sloping rear uh, roof, you still get decent headroom back here. Actually, you get more headroom back here than the sedan. And I'm surprised that, well, I'm not surprised because Honda usually carries this over, but the rear seats get the half leather, half fabric, cloth fabric, just like the fronts. You just don't get that unique design stripe in the rear. But there is no uh, foldable armrest with cup holders. I believe that's in the Sport Hybrid. But sitting back here, pretty simple. Your car seat anchor is here. They're exposed, easy to find. It is right behind this pad here. 
And there's not really much going on. You have door handles up here. Not door handles, but you know, the handles. You have your lighting up above as well too, LED. No air vents back here, no USB-Cs, no nothing back here. You have your trans tunnel down below. Actually a decent size, so whoever sits in the middle, be mindful of that. No mat pocket behind the driver and none behind the passenger. They keep it really minimal back here. You do get a tweeter back here and uh, you do get a uh, speaker down below and it's all hard touch. Even this portion right here, which is soft touch on the driver. The armrest is soft because it's the cloth, but it's not as soft as up front as a driver. Also, you do get an eight speaker sound system in the Sport Hybrid or the Sport. You get the Bose 12 speaker in the Sport Touring. So let's jump out of here and look at the cargo space because that's probably why you're buying this one over the sedan. Coming along to the hatch, this is, like I said, this is why you're buying the hatchback. Um, I think you have like 24.8 cubic inch of space car cargo space back here. And on the sedan, it's like 14.3, 14.8 or something like that. So way more cargo space back here. Wider opening as well. The seats do fold down if you, you need to. Very practical vehicle. Especially if this is like your first car, you're going to be throwing stuff back there. The hatchback is a different way to go if you want the maximum cargo space. Now, part of the protection package is this cargo tray. So that's why you do see this guy here. Floor mats, carpet floor mats are standard on the hatchback. You don't have to pay for those. Comes with the car. And a front license plate bracket as well. Also, you do get this privacy little... I forgot what they call this. It's like a... Like a... I forgot the name of this guy, but you do have one here and one built in on the tailgate itself so no one can't look in your, your cargo space, see what you got everybody for Christmas. And you can remove this too if you want this thing out the way. Now, looking underneath the floor, one thing that this is gonna have over the, one that this is gonna have over the hybrid is an actual spare tire. So you have a jack, scissor jack, you have a nozzle, and it is a donut, but if you get a hybrid, it's a flat fix kit that you get you don't get an actual tire. So that may be one reason why you want the Sport over the Hybrid. But the Hybrid has the same uh, like wheel well to put a tire back there. So some people will take out the foam and probably still put a spare tire in the Hybrid. It's not like the CRV where the battery is sitting back here on the Hybrid. So let's jump out of here and take a look at the brochure and look at some colors and some combinations you can get in the Sport hatchback. All right, so we made it to the 2025 Honda Civic hatchback trim walk. Now, Honda made it easier for 2025, especially with the hatchback trim levels because LX is no more. The Sport hatchback will be a new base model. So because of that, this is the only model in the hatchback you can get that's not a hybrid because if you go to a Sport hybrid or a Sport touring hybrid, they're hybrid only, different powertrain. Now, let's jump in into the sport, show you what you get standard since, like I said, it's a new base model. You do get an updated 2-liter 4-cylinder engine. So, from 2024, Honda did kind of, technically it's a different motor because the engine code on this one is a different engine code for 22, 3, and 4. The overall horsepower is lower. The car will feel faster. Anyone that just go to work or, you know, good errands done, kind of do regular driving, will not feel the difference from 156 to is it one, no, 158, I think, or 156, one of those, to 150. You're not going to feel it, but you will feel the torque at the lower RPM. So that's something that's different now. And basic things that you get on the Sport, which is the idle stop, you get the, the remote engine starting key fob now, the three mode. And one thing, too, is with the LX model, you know, nowadays, because Civic is usually either it's your first car into the brand or, you know, you need something smaller, something to zip around. All this good stuff. The Civic fits in many categories, but kids nowadays do not want base models. You know, like I have customers come in buying their children their first car, and they want a Sport Touring, they want a Sport. So LX is just, it's not really a demand for LX. This is my opinion. They could have just killed it because maybe they just want to kill it. It's not because no one bought the trim level. But um, whenever I'm going over features and stuff, a lot of customers, like especially for 24 and 23, a lot of customers weren't really looking for an LX uh, hatchback. I think whoever it was, they were just wanting the cheapest Civic. A brand new Civic is the cheapest thing. Don't want no features, but it was a really low percentage of that. So it makes sense why the LX is gone, and I'm shocked they still even have it for the sedan, but that might go away eventually too. Who knows? But anyway, so the Sport is going to give you all the basics, all the safety features, you know, full Honda sensing, 
the sport gives you blind spot monitoring now, which you will use it, which the 24 Civic, which the 24 Sport Hatchback didn't have blind spot. So now blind spot is standard. But you can see all these goodies here, all the airbags. I can see you can pause the video, look through it. I'm not going to sit here and read everything line for line. But a uh, lane keeping assist, adaptive cruise control, traffic jam assist, traffic sign recognition, BSI. So you get a lot of goodies on the sport. Full LED headlights, heated. Is this new too? Heated uh, side mirrors? I don't know if the side mirrors were heated for 24. I, I don't know. But heated side mirrors, security system with remote entry. So yeah, you get a combination of seats. You get a bunch of goodies on here. And if you're familiar with the 24 Sport, then you're going to be very familiar with this guy. Push button star, eight speaker sound system. Let's jump in and let's just build one. So now you have three. Now the pricing has gone up as well too because it's a 25. Now Honda don't drastically go up in price per year, but it is it costs more than when this sport first came out back in 22 or 23 when the hatch came out. No, 22. I think the hatch just came out like late 22. The sedans came out first. So you do have the two liter motor like we were just talking about. I wonder if they explain anything on here. No, they talk about the CVT and yeah, how efficient. So you're looking at 30 city, 38 highway, 34 combined on the new two liter. And let's get out of this guy. Metal transmission is gone, by the way. There's no metal transmission sport. No metal transmission sport touring. To be honest, people barely even opt in to even try to buy it. Like, there's a small percentage of people, like me, I'm the small percentage that want a manual transmission car in today's world. It is what it is. It's, it's dead. I mean, you know, a lot of people complain, but it is what it is. So let's look at the color combination you do get in the sport. Now, there's plenty of options to choose from. One interior color, which is black. But let's start with crystal black pearl. You have meteorite gray metallic, rally red, and you have the new solar silver metallic. So this replaced lunar silver. Lunar silver was a darker shade of silver. Solar silver is silver, um, silver shade. A <laughs> lighter shade. To be honest, the average person is not going to even notice. But that is new. Now you do have boost blue pearl, which is a premium color, which actually started on the Type R in the previous generation, but now it's on a hatchback. Platinum White Pearl. You have a new Sand Dune Pearl. So this reminds me of uh, Sandstorm, what we used to have on a CRV, but a more, I guess, more pearl in there. I got to see one in person. I've seen a lot of videos on it. I'm really shocked that they threw this on the Civic. I'm shocked they didn't throw this on the CRV because a lot of people considered gold and brown and things like that for either pickup trucks, like, you know, off road versions, or old people, you know, so. I'm really shocked they threw this on Civic, but I actually like the color. If I was in a market, I would get this color just because it's so different. Like, I, re I really like it. And then Urban Gray Pearl, which replaces Sonic Gray Pearl. Now, this picture doesn't even show the Urban Gray. It doesn't even look like this, to be honest, in person. This is a color you guys see in person. It's like Sonic Gray Pearl, but it has a more goldish uh, pearl to it versus the bluish greenish pearl. So, that all you. <clears throat> That's. So it's all your exterior color, so it's cool that you have some options. Like I said, black interior is the only option, and you have some wheel options. Like I said on the 25 sedan videos that I made, this optional wheel that Honda put out is, is actually a really good wheel. Like I would actually get these wheels because the previous generation's Honda's optional wheel, I think the last one I liked was the 8th gen when it had the HF, not HFP, HPD, the HPD wheels, or HF, no, the HFP wheels. But ever since then, I've been... Ever since then, I just did not like the optional wheels that they have to offer. But this one, yeah, Honda did what they had to do with this one. So let's take a look at some packages. So, oh, look at this picture. The pictures are different. Interesting. Look at that. They, they switched that up. So you have all season protection package one. It shows you all season mats, splash guards, and a cargo tray. All season protection two, all season mats, cargo tray, wheel locks, and protection package. Um, cargo tray, wheel locks. Cargo tray, splash guards on wheel locks. And my uh, vehicles here, we usually have this package on our cars. Let's check out some accessories. So I'm going to start with electronics. It's going to be engine block heater. We already knew that. Let's jump into the interior. So all season floor mats, cargo net. Everything looked pretty traditional. Door sill, contour. High. It's not a lot of um, options like you used to in, pre in previous Civics, but you have some options there. So all, all nothing too crazy. And you do get a bike um, frame mount because you can get crossbars on the hatchback, but not the sedan. So that's interesting. Buy side molding, 
door handle film, which is nice, edge guards, door visors, you can black out your emblems, you know, kayak attachment, which is cool for a bumper or roof basket. So it's nice that they offered the roof rack on there. Um, I've made a short on my channel. Check, check it out. Of uh, I had a customer that actually wanted the roof, the roof racks, and that was the first customer I've ever had that actually installed those. Never really seen anyone else install them, so check that out on my channel. Look at that. Ski, snowboard attachment. That's cool. Tailgate sport is really popular. And there's no more HBD package, too, for 25, so you have to piece it out separately. So you have the HBD wing. You have the HBD underbody spoiler in the front. Hatchbacks always had a built-in side skirt, so you never can get the HBD side skirt. Only the, sand, the sedan received that, but lug nuts and all that good stuff. So, okay. I mean, pretty simple, easy. Let's jump into some pricing. So, check out the summary here. Let's. How about we pick the right color? How about we do that? It'll be the same. No, it won't even be the same price as that color. What am I talking about? So, solar, silver, metallic. Base price is $27,450. No premium price for the color. And your destination handling is ten ninety five. You're looking at twenty eight five forty five. So you're under thirty grand for a sport hybrid. Sport hybrid for a sport hatchback, not the hybrid. The hybrid is definitely thirty grand plus. But um, yeah, the price has gone up for sports. Um, they used to be the low twenties. Now they're getting up there. But that's kind of where the world is nowadays. You know, housing, clothes, food, cars, all everything is expensive now. Everything has gone up in pricing. But for under thirty thousand, can't go wrong with the sport. It's a very popular trim level. Honda produced probably way more of these sports than any other trim level. I mean, you know, they make some sport tourings, but not everyone can afford a sport touring. You know, especially, you know, if you're a teenager, or you're buying your first car, things of that nature. So if you want a hatchback, you have to get a sport. LX is gone. Drop a comment below. Tell me what you think about the sport. I am waiting for some hybrids to come in. So Sport Hybrid coming soon, Sport Touring coming soon. It's going to be difficult because we're already pre-selling pre the ones we have coming in. So it's, it's going to be hard to get my hands on some of these cars. But, you know, I love you guys, man. I take care of you guys. Anyways, drop a comment below. Tell me what you think. Thank you for watching. I'm going to catch you in the next walk around. Mm -hmm.